Hello, my name is Bryson Tyler Ricamona, and I'm currently a senior biology major in Dr. Corinne Sankunas' lab. My work focuses on polychrome repressive complex two, ensuring robust skeletal growth and patterning during zebrafish fin regeneration. In the Sankunas lab, we use zebrafish caudal fins to provide a model for understanding regenerative mechanisms. For those of you who may not be familiar with the caudal fin, the fin is comprised of 18 bony rays and each bony ray is made up of two hemirays. During regeneration, differentiated cells at the site of amputation will de-differentiate to a more progenitor-like state, upregulating the dock transcription factor and wind signaling. This progenitor-like cell population will gradually re-differentiate throughout regeneration and re-establish the cell population that was lost upon amputation. My work focuses on polychrome repressive complex 2, which is a highly conserved protein complex and contains methyl transferase subunits EZH1, EZH2. EZH1 and EZH2 will trimethylate histone H3, lysine 27, referred to as H3K27 trimethylation, which is associated with gene repression and may be acting to maintain cell state. A recent graduate student in our lab was able to mutagenize the EZH1 and EZH2 alleles. It was noted that EZH2 mutants had significantly lower levels of H3K27 trimethylation, as well as underdeveloped craniofacial dermal bones. It was also observed that these fish do not survive past seven days post-fertilization. We were able to find an EZH2 SA1199 hypermorph mutation, which allowed fish to survive into adulthood and was used in further regeneration studies. One phenotype that we observed with the caudal fins of EZH2 hypomorph mutants is that they displayed abnormal fin shapes during development and this fin shape was conserved throughout regeneration. This suggests that EZH2 ensures proper fin outgrowth during development. Preliminary studies have shown that EZH2 is upregulated in regenerating tissue at 72 hours post amputation. It was also noted that H3K27 trimethylation levels are highest at early time points of regeneration, like four to seven days post amputation, which is typically associated with the initial outgrowth of the fin. When looking at wide field microscopy images, it was observed that EZH1 mutant regenerates possess striking skeletal patterning defects, which included the fusion of adjacent rays and the formation of large bony plates when compared to EZH2 hypomorph mutants and wild type controls. This suggests that EZH1 may play a more prominent role to ensure proper skeletal patterning during regeneration. My proposed model depicts that in the lack of PRC2, this may cause differentiated cells to either de-differentiate into a more multipotent progenitor-like state or allow cells to follow other cell fate pathways. In conclusion, PRC2 may be acting to maintain cell states and transitions during zebrafish caudal fin regeneration.